Machine shop. Yeah, boy. You're here to check out the Pillar Great Hammer, the most gigachad weapon Outward has to offer, and the most high impact mega bonk hammer you can find. This is the weapon you want if you're looking to launch enemies into the air and put everything down on the ground. The Pillar Great Hammer is pretty darn cool, and honestly not hard to get as long as you can run around a few enemies. Here I'm going to show you how to get this weapon, and since most people are somewhat aware of this process, I'm going to talk about the lore behind it while I show you the path. Just know that you need to pull a series of levers in the Spire of Light. This can be found in the Hollow Marsh or Swamp region. Tons of lightning golems guard this place to bring decay damage or just plan to run around for a while. The Pillar Great Hammer is hidden inside the Spire of Light. It resides near a legacy chest conveniently placed among some pillars that make it less obvious to find. But how to get here? The description on it reads, Artifact Great Hammer of an Executioner who guarded the Spire of Light, crushing the bones of invaders before feeding on them. At first glance, this sounds really cool, but upon looking closer, things start to get a little odd. Apparently, the Spire of Light had an executioner at one point who probably guarded the Lightmender. Nothing weird about that, but crushing the bones of invaders before feeding on them? Sounds diabolical, but I can't imagine the Spire getting many invaders. Turns out, this weapon is likely a nod to Dark Souls 1. If you go back to the game, you can find a boss very early on that blocks your way. You're supposed to avoid fighting this monster at first, but if you kill him right away, you get the Demon's Great Hammer. It looks remarkably similar to the Pillar Great Hammer, identical actually if you remove the print designs. But still, the description doesn't really match here. When does he jump down? There he does. Ugh. Oh! Oh! Did I go around him? How much damage do I do? Oh, I do two damage. Yeah, I think we should stick with the firebombs. I've been told he takes no damage. Oh my word, I'm cracked. Oh, I thought that missed. What's the range on these? Yeah! Can I kill him with the, uh... The melee weapon now? Or should I just firebomb? Let's just firebomb. Noob. This game's easy. Yeah, but I want to see what it looks like. Holy freaking crap. It's the Pillar Great Hammer! Oh! Ouch. How much damage does it do even if I can't use it? Uh, I don't know why, but that hit me. Where are you? I have a, hit, a giant hammer to hit you in the head with. Stop running away. Ooh, a bandit's knife. I think that's the good knife that I get. Come back here. I'm gonna hit you in the head with this. Once again, go back to Dark Souls 1 and defeat Smau. This was one boss in a two boss arena that slapped you around pretty good. He guarded this massive golden castle area and wasn't afraid to flatten you with his large weapon. Craft his weapon after you kill him, and you get some interesting lore about this monster. Great Hammer from the soul of Executioner Smau, who guards the cathedral in the forsaken city of Anorlando. Smau loved his work, and ground the bones of his victims into his own feed, ruining his hopes of being ranked with the Four Knights. The Pillar Great Hammer has crushing the bones of invaders before feeding on them. Mao's hammer has ground the bones of his victims into his own feed. This is a little too obvious to be a coincidence, so it seems the inspiration for the Pillar Great Hammer was to introduce a little easter egg for Dark Souls, and create a big boy hammer at the same time. Kinda cool that Outward shows respect to one of the greatest RPGs of all time. As for the hammer itself, it's absolutely amazing. A little slow to swing, which can mess with you, but it deals over half of an enemy's impact bar nearly 100% of the time. In fact, if the enemy has confusion on them, this weapon nearly deals the entire bar of impact. It's the ultimate sit-down weapon. Considering it has a pretty high amount of lightning damage, it also kills enemies pretty quickly. 
You're not really going to find another weapon in Outward that feels the same as this guy. It has incredibly high impact at 75 per swing and really makes you feel like you're lugging around a pillar. I highly recommend Wind Infuse with this weapon to improve its speed. Funnily enough, this would make its impact even better, which is kind of ridiculous. And since the weapon has elemental damage, you never need a varnish anyway. Wind Infuse is really strong with this weapon. Also, don't forget that you can use the special attack of a Great Hammer to have fast attacks that deal the best impact in the game. It's really short ranged, but super useful. So that's the Pillar Great Hammer, a massive weapon that provides some interesting details about the Spire of Light while also referencing Dark Souls. Don't be afraid to pick this up and give it a try. Use it with the Juggernaut skill and you can really send things soaring into the air. It's a funny and powerful weapon designed for those at peak human condition. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully you found this one kind of cool. I have covered the Spire many times on this channel in different videos, but the Pillar Great Hammer deserved its own guide. It really is an interesting weapon. Enjoy bonking your enemies, and I'll catch you next time.